In arithmetic and computer programming, the extended Euclidean algorithm is an extension to the Euclidean algorithm, which computes, besides the greatest common divisor of integers a and b, the coefficients of bar copyright's outs identity, that is integers x and y such that. It allows one to compute also, with almost no extra cost, the quotients of a and b by their greatest common divisor. Extended Euclidean algorithm also refers to a very similar algorithm for computing the polynomial greatest common divisor and the coefficients of bar copyright its identity of two univariate polynomials. The extended Euclidean algorithm is particularly useful when A and B are coprime, since X is the modular multiplicative inverse of a modulo B, and Y is the modular multiplicative inverse of B modulo A. Similarly, the polynomial extended Euclidean algorithm allows one to compute the multiplicative inverse in algebraic field extensions and, in particular in finite fields of non-prime order. It follows that both extended Euclidean algorithms are widely used in cryptography. In particular, the computation of the modular multiplicative inverse is an essential step in RSA public key encryption method. Description the standard Euclidean algorithm proceeds by a succession of Euclidean divisions whose quotients are not used, only the remainders are kept. For the extended algorithm, the successive quotients are used. More precisely, the standard Euclidean algorithm with A and B as input, consists of computing a sequence of quotients and a sequence of remainders such that. It is the main property of Euclidean division that the inequalities on the right define uniquely from and. The computation stops when one reaches a remainder which is zero. The greatest common divisor is then the last non zero remainder. The extended Euclidean algorithm proceeds similarly, but adds two other sequences, as follows. The computation also stops when and gives, is the greatest common divisor of the input and, the bar copyright out coefficients at and that is, the quotients of A and B by their greatest common divisor are given by and, moreover, if A and B are both positive, we have. This means that the pair of bar copyright its coefficients provided by the extended Euclidean algorithm is one of the two minimal pairs of bar copyright its out coefficients. Equals example equals, the following table shows how the extended Euclidean algorithm proceeds with input 240 and 46. The greatest common divisor is the last non-zero entry, 2 in the column remainder. The computation stops at row 6, because the remainder in it is 0. Bar copyright out coefficients appear in the last two entries of the second to last row. In fact, it is easy to verify that a 9 a, 240 plus 47 a, 46 equals 2. Finally the last two entries 23 and a 120 of the last row are, up to the sign, the quotients of the input 46 and 240 by the greatest common divisor 2. Equals proof equals, as the sequence of the is a decreasing sequence of non-negative integers. Thus it must stop with some this proves that the algorithm stops eventually. As the greatest common divisor is the same for and this shows that the greatest common divisor of the inputs is the same as that of this proves that is the greatest common divisor of A and B. As and we have for I equals 0 and 1. The relation follows by induction for all, thus and a bar copyright out coefficients. Let us consider the matrix. The recurrence relation may be rewritten in matrix form. The matrix is the identity matrix and its determinant is 1. The determinant of the rightmost matrix in the preceding formula is minus 1. It follows that the determinant of as in particular, for i equals k plus 1. We have viewing this as a bar copyright its identity, this shows that and a coprime. The relation that has been proved above and Euclid's lemma shows that divides B and divides A. As they are coprime, they are, up to their sign the quotients of B and A by their greatest common divisor. Polynomial extended Euclidean algorithm. For univariate polynomials with coefficients in a field, everything works in a similar way, Euclidean division bar copyright its identity and extended Euclidean algorithm. The first difference is that, in the Euclidean division in the algorithm, the inequality has to be replaced by an inequality on the degrees otherwise, everything which proceeds in this article remains the same, simply by replacing integers by polynomials. 
a second difference lies in the bound on the size of the bar copyright ZAT coefficients provided by the extended Euclidean algorithm, which is more accurate in the polynomial case, leading to the following theorem. If A and B are two non-zero polynomials, then the extended Euclidean algorithm produces the unique pair of polynomials such that and a third difference is that, in the polynomial case, the greatest common divisor is defined only up to the multiplication by a non-zero constant. There are several ways to define the greatest common divisor unambiguously. In mathematics, it is common to require that the greatest common divisor be a monic polynomial. To get this, it suffices to divide every element of the output by the leading coefficient of this allows that, if A and B are coprime, one gets one in the right-hand side of bar copyright Zart's inequality. Otherwise, one may get any non-zero constant. In computer algebra, the polynomials have commonly integers coefficients, and this way of normalizing the greatest common divisor introduces too many fractions to be convenient. The second way to normalize the greatest common divisor in the case of polynomials with integers coefficients is to divide every output by the content of to get a primitive greatest common divisor. If the input polynomials are coprime, this normalization provides also a greatest common divisor equal to 1. The drawback of this approach is that a lot of fractions should be computed and simplified during the computation. A third approach consists in extending the algorithm of subresultant pseudo remainder sequences in a way that is similar to the extension of the Euclidean algorithm to the extended Euclidean algorithm. This allows that, when starting with polynomials with integer coefficients, all polynomials that are computed have integer coefficients. Moreover, every computed remainder is a subresultant polynomial. In particular, if the input polynomials are coprime, then the bar copyright Zart's identity becomes where denotes the resultant of A and B. In this form of bar copyright Zart's identity there is no denominator in the formula. If one divides everything by the resultant one gets the classical bar copyright Zart's identity, with an explicit common denominator for the rational numbers that appear in it. Pseudocode, to implement the algorithm that is described above. One should first remark that only the two last values of the indexed variables are needed at each step. Thus, for saving memory, each indexed variable must be replaced by only two variables. For simplicity, the following algorithm uses parallel assignments. In a programming language which does not have this feature, the parallel assignments need to be simulated with an auxiliary variable. For example, the first one, old R, R, equals is equivalent to prof equals r r equals old r quotient prof old r equals prof and similarly for the other parallel assignments this leads to the following code function extended gcd a b s equals zero old s equals one t equals one old t equals zero r equals b Old R equals a, while R A per mil zero, quotient, equals old a div R, equals, 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 output bar copyright ZAT coefficients, output greatest common divisor, old R, output quotients by the GCD. The quotients of A and B by their greatest common divisor, which are output, may have an incorrect sign. This is easy to correct at the end of the computation, but has not been done here for simplifying the code. Similarly, if either A or B is zero and the other is negative, the greatest common divisor that is outputs is negative, and all the signs of the output must be changed. Simplification of fractions, A fraction AB is in canonical simplified form if A and B are coprime and B is positive. This canonical simplified form can be obtained by replacing the three output lines of the preceding pseudocode by if S equals zero then output division by zero, if S1 then return A is not invertible, if T0 then, return, either P is not irreducible or A is a multiple of P, return T. Example, for example, if the polynomial used to define the finite field GF, 28, is P equals X8 plus X4 plus X3 plus X plus 1 and an equals x6 plus x4 plus x plus 1 is the element whose inverse is desired, 
then performing the algorithm results in the computation described in the following table. Let us recall that in fields of order 2n, 1 has z equals z and z plus z equals 0 for every element z in the field. Note also that 1 being the only non-zero element of gf, 2, the adjustment in the last line of the pseudocode is not needed. Thus, the inverse is x7 plus x6 plus x3 plus x, as can be confirmed by multiplying the two elements together, and taking the remainder by p of the result. The case of more than two numbers, one can handle the case of more than two numbers iteratively. First we show that. To prove this let. By definition of GCD is a divisor of and. Thus for some. Similarly is a divisor of so for some. Let. By our construction of, but since is the greatest divisor is a unit. And since the result is proven. So if then there are and such that so the final equation will be. So then to apply to n numbers we use induction. With the equations following directly. See also, Euclidean domain, linear congruence theorem. References, Newth, Donald. The Art of Computer Programming. Addison Wesley. Volume 2, Chapter 4. Thomas H. Corman, Charles E. Lesserson, Ronald L. Revist, and Clifford Stein. Introduction to Algorithms, Second Edition. MIT Press and McGraw-Hill, 2001. ISBN 0-262-03293-7. Pages 859 a Euro 861 of Section 31.2 Greatest Common Divisor. External links, source for the form of the algorithm used to determine the multiplicative inverse in GF, 28.